Good morning, good morning in the news this morning. My name is Christine Cohen. I'm a New York City based registered dietitian and fitness specialist. Today, you are going to get an awesome workout that focuses on legs. We're doing a lot of squats, a couple different kinds, and some pull ups and some other back work. It is a relatively short workout. We're doing one, two, three, four, five different movements. It is a quote unquote total body workout. We're not hitting every single muscle group, but for sure your entire body will feel like it got the bleep knocked out of you in a great way. I loved doing this workout. I was really inspired. My legs felt like jello after, and I really was able to work on my strength for my legs, and I was really able to work on um, my endurance for a leg workout as well as cardiovascularly. Um, so without further ado, here you go. And then just a quick note before we get started, this workout is hard, this workout is challenging. Pick a weight that is smart for you. I do a little bit of priming for my legs before we get into the actual workout so you can get warmed up with your hips, your ankles, your knees, quads, hamstrings, all that good stuff. Um, but really choose a weight that's smart for you if you're a beginner into training in the gym. Um, pick a lighter weight. Pick a lighter weight. Um, stick to the rep scheme, but pick a lighter weight and really get to feel what that weight is like on your body and um, focus on your form, focus on your breathing, and push yourself mentally. It's gonna be challenging no matter what, so let's get to work. You can do this. We are starting off this workout with a leg primer. Leg mobility, leg flexibility. I'm starting off here with unilateral Romanian deadlifts. It's just like a regular Romanian deadlift, except the point is to start activating our legs, get the blood flowing, and not to really work them as we would in a working set. So just like any Romanian deadlift, I'm reaching back through the working leg hip and glute. I'm trying to get a deep stretch up completely through the entire length of my hamstring and into my lower glute. Take your time with these. I like to say one breath per rep. If you lose your balance, clearly like I am, it's okay. Don't be hard on yourself. This is supposed to be a warm-up. Um, you can't be perfect at everything, can we? No. So um, take a nice deep breath for each rep. Take your time. Focus. The key thing here is to spread your foot out flat on the floor. Press into your big toe. And also, as far down as your torso comes, your leg wants to come up equally as high behind you. Now I'm going into a deep squat. This is something I've worked on. If you have trouble getting into a deep squat because your hips stop you, your ankle mobility stops you, a tip here, well this is working on it, but a tip here is to put your um, put some plates under your heels. So after you do a couple rounds of that, you're going to get into a runner's lunge and do counter clockwise followed by clockwise rotations. So basically you're just doing big hip circles. So I do five to the right, five to the left. Then we're gonna switch sides, do again, five clockwise, five counterclockwise. I'm trying to make the biggest circle with my hips. And you will feel this in both legs, but for sure um, in the hip of the leg that is in front. Take your time, really use this. If you need more, do more. This is all about feeling what your body needs to be primed for this really awesome workout we're about to do. So I actually do it twice on both sides. So I switch back to the right. We're doing five circles. And then I'm coming back to a middle squat. You can see I'm shifting my hips back and forth here to warm them up. Now we're going into a lateral style lunge, again, for mobility. In the beginning, my hip ankle mobility and hips are too tight for me to keep my heels down on the ground, so I allow my heels to come up. You can see my left heel is up right there. But as I go forward and I do more and more, everything kind of warms up and eases into each other, and I'm able to keep my 
heels down, which is ideally what I'm trying to do. As you can see, I'm going super low, so my hamstring is in full contact with my calf. Again, we're working on um, adductor mobility here, and we're also working on ankle mobility. So we're gonna do a warm-up set for back squats before we get into our working back squat sets. So I'm just using the bar. I'm gonna do probably 10 to 12 reps. Each rep I'm gonna take nice and slow. I wanna feel my hips kind of just ooze into each other at the bottom. You can see it kind of wiggle my butt back and forth. I'm loosening my hips up a little bit. I'm driving my knees out. I am aware of my ankle flexibility. I'm aware of how uh, much I'm pushing weight into my heels. So once that feels good, then I'll start into a little bit faster tempo. And again, <clears throat> I am just making my body aware of what it's doing. I recheck with my form. My mind is completely focused. On my squat form, I am lifting as if I'm lifting my, my PR weight, basically. Okay, here we go. So uh, we are doing six sets of five. So we're working on the heavier range of our reps. I have the whole uh, description down in the workout notes. For your squats, strong core, strong back. Kick the hips back slightly but drive your knees out and slightly forward. Yes, you do want your knees to go slightly forward. You want optimally hamstring to calf connection at the bottom of your squat. That is something that takes a lot of mobility and flexibility work. I have a YouTube video that goes through a whole squat um, technique work to help better your form. So here I'm doing probably like my third or fourth set. And I am just as focused. You could see me driving my hips back. You could see my knees going slightly forward. My ankle mobility and calf mobility is pretty strong at this point. Yes, I do like to work on more sneakers versus anything else. In between my squat sets, I'm doing some shoulder blade mobility and lat mobility. So here I'm hanging from this bar and I, excuse me, I'm doing shoulder blade rotations externally and then internally. Um, I think I'm doing about 12 to 15 in each direction. It's a little bit awkward, so if you feel like you can do it hanging on the bar, do it hanging off the bar, or not hanging at all. <laughs> um, but here you can see I'm doing internal rotations. I'm really activating my entire shoulder girdle. And then I'm gonna switch and do some external ones too. The internal ones are more difficult for me to do, the external ones I can get. Now I'm just going straight down. This is just a lat activation and I'm trying to drive my shoulders and my lats down as hard as I can towards my hips. I wanna get deep, deep, deep low lat activation. So I finished my six sets of that and I'm moving on to four sets of 12 of front squats. This is at about 70% of your one rep max, so it's a lot lighter. Um, still for sure challenging as you're gonna see in a second because this is like my last set that I recorded and I am really struggling. The lactic acid is building, I'm feeling the burn, my heart rate is through the roof. Every time I squat for a front squat, I think about raising my elbows. So I squat down, drive the knees out slightly forward, and I am constantly reinforcing that shelf that my bar is resting on. I'm doing a crossed arm position here because I hurt my wrist and I don't have any more wrist flexibility in my right side as of right now, something I'm working on. So I'm supersetting that with Bulgarian plyometric um, split squats. And as you can see here, I am going far down into that squat, into that lunge, and I am driving up hard through my front leg. I land about six inches down. I want to land as softly as I can because I'm absorbing it in my muscle and not in my joint. If you find you're landing hard or you're landing on a straight leg, your joints are taking all of that weight. That is not healthy. You want to land nice and soft and absorb the shock in the muscles, which is strong and how you build them.
You're gonna see me do another set of front squats here. This might be closer to my last set. And I am for sure struggling. I take a nice deep breath at the top. I squat down and I exhale on the way up. Something else you're gonna notice is I am not coming up to a full leg extension. I'm not locking my knees at the top. I'm pretty much coming up about 90% of the way, except for right here because I'm resting. I'm coming up about 90, 95% of the way and then going right back down into my squat. That is increasing the time under tension that my quads are working and it's a hell of a lot harder. I'm doing this for the burnout effect and you can see I can barely walk as I walk away from that bar. And then I'm gonna do another set for you of the Bulgarian split, hello, Bulgarian split squats, um, plyometric jumps. I'm really using my upper body here because I am failing at these in the best possible way. So you can see I'm like pumping my arms and that's helping me get a few extra inches off the ground. Um, and it just makes the leg stronger in the deceleration of the movement as I'm coming down because I have to absorb that high jump even more and it's training my body that much more. All right, here I go, I can barely walk away. You can tell that was pretty damn hard. I'm not taking that much of a break in between the front squats and the, and the plyos. All right, now I'm doing some assisted pull-ups. This is the last set. I'm taking these nice and slow. I'm counting about two to three seconds going up and two to three seconds coming down. I did all that activation for a reason and now I'm putting it to good use. So I'm driving those shoulder blades and lats down before I even bend my arms to pull myself up to the bar. Taking it nice and slow. Use whatever band assistance you need. If you don't need assistance, great. If you do, figure out what works best for you. As you can see, I'm actually jumping off the step and working the negative on the last two reps of this because this is the last set that I did and I was failing. Yay, yay, yay. Then I'm following this up with a shoulder blade retraction in a plank. You can modify this and do it on the knees. You can modify it even more by doing it basically standing at a 45 degree angle with your hands on a wall. If you're a little bit more advanced, you can take it to the floor. I'm retracting my shoulder blades, driving them in towards each other, and then drastically pushing them out away from each other, getting a nice, deep um, extension in my back. And that's all, folks. So I hope you enjoyed watching that workout. If you completed it, awesome. You're a rock star. If you're about to go to the gym and kick your butt with that workout, enjoy. I'll just leave you with that fun little statement. Um, but seriously, push yourself, challenge yourself, have fun. And when it gets hard, know that if you push yourself a little bit more, you're gonna break through any mental barrier. Breathe. Breathe, breathe, breathe. Breathe louder than the pain because you're stronger than the pain. It's temporary. Okay, so that's all I got. Please subscribe and give this video a like, a thumbs up, whatever they do here on YouTube. It's been so long I almost forgot. And um, yeah, I'll be coming out with more of these. So please comment below if there are certain things that you would like to see um, and learn about. Otherwise, I'm just gonna be posting my own personal workouts and giving you tips along the way, so. Have an amazing, amazing day. Thanks for watching.